really easy to get things misinterpreted when you're listening to high level Etsy print on demand business theory YouTube videos. For instance, when you say something like optimize your photos or optimize your keywords, there leaves a lot of room for misinterpretation on what that actually means. So that is why in this video, I want to get really specific and do listing critiques live so you can actually see what I see. Keep in mind that watching me critique Etsy listing is subject to my experience and to what my opinion is. It is beneficial for you to learn from a lot of different people because different people have different insights based off their own experience. It's not that I'm the only person out here that is obviously teaching Etsy. I myself have a lot of competition, but it is really beneficial to hear from all different types of people. Some of the most growth or some of the most impactful things that have affected my business in the past have always been, well, has been from doing and learning myself, but also a huge variable in that is from networking and listening to other people that have been there, done that entrepreneurs that have done the thing. So it's super, super helpful. But again, you want to take everything with a grain of salt because every single business, even in NC print on demand has its own needs, wants, fears, and goals, attracting a specific type of customer avatar. So much of this roadmap that you're going to build for yourself is just by going out and doing it without further ado, let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to mainly critique listings that appear to be Printify listings. Printify is really the leading POD provider right now. They have really, really competitive shipping times, the most competitive pricing, and they also have the most versatility when it comes to their collection of what you can actually print on. So we're going to really try to find Printify listings since that is probably what your print provider is. If you don't already have a Printify plan, make sure you click the link in the description so you can sign up for your account today and you can begin designing your new POD products. Now, like we mentioned, we have the fundamental base understood about this game. Now we're going to get really specific and start critiquing some Etsy Printify POD listing. So the first listing I have for you is this dad dog shirt. It's showing some good signs of momentum. It has five views in the last 24 hours. It's a pretty young listing with already five reviews. We pretty much can conclude that it's probably a Printify listing because it's saying it's shipped from locations are Germany, USA, Canada, UK, and Australia, which really Printify is the only supplier that can have those shipped from locations, not shipped to locations, which means that the packages are going to get to the customer a lot faster. If it's my guess, this listing probably is making some consistent sales, but there are definitely some things that we could tweak the dials on to make this overall just a better listing. So first I'm going to talk about the things that I particularly like about this listing. So I'll highlight the things that stood out to me that I think are pretty competitive. The first thing I like, I actually like the design itself. I think the design itself is pretty good. I like that there's a personalized component to it. You can actually add the name of your pet here. I particularly don't mind this AI mock-up. I can tell that it was AI generated, but it actually looks quite good compared to some of the other ones I've seen. At first, first glance, you can't completely tell that it's AI. So that's why I kind of like it because it's more realistic. So another thing that they're doing that's probably serving them really well is that in their single drop-down menu, they're offering different types of things that you can print this on. So you have a shirt, you have a sweater, and you have hoodies. And so it, by doing this on the back end, it makes your orders not get fulfilled by Printify automatically. The, the person that's selling this has to actually go and place the order manually. But with that being said, it makes them a lot more competitive because they have so much more versatility of what you can actually get in your drop down menu. So as you can see, they have shirts and they have a hoodie and they have like a crew neck sweater. So if you're just doing a standard Printify listing where you want Printify to automatically fulfill it for you, it has to be one type of blank. You can't have multiple blanks in your drop down menu. So that means that they're probably doing some manual work on the back end, but the sellers that are doing this are definitely seeing better results for sure. So I particularly like that component about this listing and that this seller is going the extra mile to fulfill the orders basically. Also, when you have this much versatility, it allows you to show the cheaper price on the front end. So the t-shirt is obviously the one that's at $27, but they see the hoodie for this price point and then they click and then they get upsold to the hoodie or whatever they saw in the main image. Doing a cheaper price on the front end is a major key for a price competitive niches like this. And finally, another thing that I really like that they are doing that is 
definitely probably working for them is their daily sales strategy. So you can see they have this urgency badge here where it says this sale is ending in two hours. That means that they're starting and ending a sale every single day on the same day to get an urgency badge. You probably don't wanna do this every single day in your store, but doing this a couple of times a week, definitely you'll see a boost in your sales. Now let's talk about the things that have room for improvement. The very first thing is that when you look at the listing in the search pages compared to the competition, the picture is very, very zoomed out. This is a huge no-no for any products, not just print-on-demand products, honestly. The product should take up the majority of the space in the main image. You do not want to leave any opportunity for a buyer to get distracted by the scenery or I don't like what's on his finger. I don't, I don't know what it is. You want them, the core focus of their eyesight to be exactly on the product and the value proposition of the product. And the value proposition of this product is that it's a good looking product and there's also personalization. So having it this zoomed out, you can't really interpret the true value proposition of this listing. You can see personalized here in the, in the title, but you want them to completely understand your value proposition and the stance you're taking as a value prop without them having to read anything. Someone should be able to get it in two seconds just by seeing the image itself. So I would definitely recommend for on the thumbnail image to cut in way closer so you can actually see and read the full shirt. Much like this one here, but I would even say even a slightly closer. Another thing that they're not doing is having a video, which is I know can be really time consuming. If you're in print on demand and you have thousands of listings, it might not be realistic for you to make a video on every single product that you have nowadays with AI and AI videos, it's probably gonna get a lot faster, but this is still a missed opportunity. So even if you don't wanna do a video for every unique product you have, there's still an opportunity here to do a lot of storytelling with your store. Putting a face behind the brand or sharing your mission or your vision or your why for starting the store, any of those things that you can do in a video form is super valuable. And then you can just use that standard default video for a lot of your other listings. So having some sort of video content that maybe does storytelling about you and your reason for starting your store is can't hurt. It can only help the conversion. There's a lot of ways to get creative with it. If you have a partner involved, if you have an animal, if you have a wife or a husband, throw them in the video too. you know, showcase that this is a family business, small business. And by you purchasing from your store, you're supporting, you know, your small business. Some ideas for videos, obviously you're not actually creating the product, but if you've ever been on TikTok or go on Instagram reels, you can see small shop owners video type of stuff. The things that really go viral is, you know, you waving to the camera, maybe showing how you're designing the shirt, placing it in your mock-up, and then maybe showing a shirt of you holding the shirt up of the finished product, even though it might not be the same product that you're showing, it's still super valuable because now you're making a connection with who the customer is actually spending money with and seeing your face and also seeing your design, you know, how that you're actually designing the product and, you know, basically putting a face to the brand. Also, you know, if you ever have seen those trending, you know, kind of TikTok videos that I'm talking about, you can do a lot of storytelling with just text captions and you're not even, cause obviously there's no sound in these videos, but if you just, you know, put text captions of who you are, why you're doing this and what is your mission for being on the platform. And you can do that very easily just by using a simple editor tool inside of Instagram or Canva even, which if you're in POD, you're probably using Canva. I think in the future rendition of print on demand, a lot of sellers overlook this step of trying to add this personalization touch or this real life human touch to their business. So this will make you stand out <laughs> way farther than everyone else that isn't doing this or not making, you know, a personal appearance on behalf of their brand. Now let's go into the second Etsy print on demand listing critique. So in this listing, we have an ellipse shirt that says April 8th, 2024. This is in demand. Eight people bought this in the last 24 hours based off their pricing, their shipping times and the blanks that they're printing on, I'm pretty sure they're using the Printify Unisex Jersey short sleeve tee from Printify because with the Printify Premium, it's about $8.48. So what do I personally like about this listing? If you don't understand what this shirt is, this shirt is people chasing the trend of the 2024 eclipse that's coming up 
on April 8th. By the time this video gets posted, it's probably gonna be too late to capitalize on this opportunity. The point is, is that I like this listing because this is a seller that's 100% doing the right thing when it comes to chasing opportunities. So if there's something going on with politics or a social trend or some funny meme that's going viral, they're hopping on the trend right as it's happening. And so when you look at the competition for this, there's really not that much competition. So they definitely did the right thing by getting on this bandwagon when they did. And one place to get inspired by funny things that are happening or trending right now is by just going to chat GPT and typing in what are funny things or upcoming events, social trends that are happening right now in 2024 that I could make print on demand shirts for. If you type that into chat GPT, chat GPT it will tell you. So overall, I like that aspect. I like that they have an urgency badge. And I also like that they have a really dialed in keyword optimized title. They're not keyword stuffing, they're straight to the point. And the keywords really are representing the best case scenario words for the words that are even available to them for this product opportunity. Now, where is there room for improvement? When you're going after an opportunity that's this time sensitive, meaning like this is not gonna last forever, you really wanna capitalize on trying to be the number one listing compared to the, your competition. So while this is getting a lot of purchases, it's in demand, obviously, there's a lot of room for improvement. And if you're going to go after a listing that's going to potentially be super viral, you want to optimize every single detail. So what I particularly don't like about this is you can tell that this is super AI generated. In my opinion, I think this is way more telling that it's AI generated than the last example that we had. So it's no surprise when you compare this listing with this main image to this mock-up that is clearly a real person you know, this one is doing a lot better, but that's not only the key variable of why this one is, has sold 53 in the last 24 hours versus only five in the last 24 hours. We're gonna talk about more of this in a second. So the first thing is when I look at the design, it just looks very unrealistic because you want to get the feeling of what it is actually gonna look like on the shirt. And some mock-ups can do this really well, but when you have this like extra shadowy thing on it, it's not likely that this is actually gonna be printed in it. If you can see what I'm talking about, it's this, these extra circles here. Maybe it's printed on it, I'm not sure, but I'm skeptical just looking at it. So when you create this conflict or questioning in your mind, that increases your drop-offs. You wanna show as like a mock-up, if you're gonna do mock-ups like this, something as realistic as possible, especially when you're looking at an opportunity that you could sell over you know, 50 in a single day. So if this was me, the second I started seeing momentum, I would have probably bought the product myself and did my own image photography, or just out the gates did my own image photography. Same concept with the last one. This is missing a video. So that's another really big opportunity, especially if you know it's gonna be a hot product to just outshine the competition with video. Guys, we're gonna pause right there for a second. If you're getting value out of this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. This supports my channel so much. I don't sell courses. I don't sell anything. All the products I promote, I actually use. So if you want to support this channel anyway, please just subscribe to the channel. That means so much to me. So thank Thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. The next thing is major key. So because you're probably only going to wear this shirt like once in reality on the day that it happens, I don't know, maybe people are going to wear it again, but for the most part, this is a very price competitive product. So it's not likely that they compete with this listing is probably printing it themselves just based off their pricing strategy. I can kind of tell that they're probably printing these themselves. So it's not likely that they can compete with this, but what they could do is take the least sold variation option and make it an equal price. So then at least on the front end, it's showing the least sold variation option is a competitive price to this. So when you look in the actual search page, you can see 877 versus 1053. This guy is probably printing it themselves. This is probably a Printify listing. I would just find the least sold variation option or the least sold color option and try to compete with this price. Again, because this is so time sensitive and you really wanna be the number one guy, 
for pushing the most sales volume. It's likely one, this is way more zoomed in and on a real person versus the super AI generated mock-up. And two, this is zoomed in, this is not. Again, you really, really wanna be zoomed in. And number three is beating them by like a dollar and a half on pricing. Again, in the grand scheme of things, if you were just like selling regular products, probably wouldn't mean much, but because this is such a time sensitive product opportunity and people are really looking for the most, <laughs> the cheapest thing, this guy really has them be on a lot of different levels. Another thing that I don't particularly like is that if it's my guess, this one probably stole the idea from this one. I like where they're going with the C, but I probably wouldn't have just completely ripped the design from someone else. I think you can tell that they changed the font up a little bit, but as far as the C goes and the light right here, I probably would have altered it way more so I'm just not completely ripping somebody else's design. I'm really sensitive about this stuff. I think there's like e-commerce like juju like and when you do bad to people more bad things come back to you so I particularly would have changed this up a lot maybe keeping the concept of the C being something but not having the star there or moving the star or just doing something a little bit different or adding more text or something trying to add more value to the design itself or taking it a step further and you know being like i saw the eclipse hannah saw the i don't know something with like personalization where basically you're adding a value proposition because now they can actually add personalization to it and finally since this is such a hot product i would have bit the bullet and done what we saw in the previous listing and been able to offer different types of blanks where yes, I would have to manually fulfill it on the back end, but if you're getting 50 to 100 orders a day, then it's definitely worth you know the extra five minutes per order. And finally, before we move on, I just have one quick note on the competing listing. Oh wow, this actually just went up to 69 people bought before it was at 53. So this is definitely a killing it right now. But last note here, I just wanted to critique this listing, even though it's not a printified listing, something that I would say that I would fix about this listing is this second image here. This is super three rendered and you can tell it's completely fake so if i had a listing that had that many purchases i would want to optimize the crap out of the listing and make sure it's absolutely the number one most competitive listing out there so i would want to either fix this or i would have want to printed it right away just so i could show what it actually looks like so it doesn't look so fake the thing is and this is true for all etsy listings like you can have a killer main image but if you're following in images aren't cohesive or branded well, it actually can scare people away. It almost is worse to have a really, really good image and then not as competitive following images. You really wanna make sure that every single one of your images is super dialed in and competitive. Number three case study that we're gonna go over is this Palm Springs Bachelorette shirt. So what are the things that I particularly like about this listing? Overall, I really like the design. I like the design itself and I like the personalization component to it. So you can personalize here the location, the name of the person who's bachelorette and the date and you can add in the personalization here and we're getting some momentum you see nine views in the last 24 hours it has eight reviews on it so we have clear good signs of momentum now let's point out the things that there is room for improvement so similar to the previous the product is super super zoomed out so when you look at this compared to this, it's a lot more clear what this shirt is selling. Here, it's kind of hard to see. You see greetings from Palm Springs, but you can't read the word bachelorette. So you have really no context of really what this shirt is unless you had to read something. So I would zoom in completely here from her neck to the bottom of the design. The next big thing is the pricing. So if, for example, you see $28 and then right above that, you see things for $6. Now it's not that you always have to be the cheapest price, but if you're more expensive and your listing is not the most optimized, that is kind of a no-no. So when you come back to her listing, she has no video, she has not all of her photo slots filled out. She has some graphics here kind of giving you more specifics, but there's still a lot of room for storytelling and just overall, you know, adding more things in here. I think particularly one big thing like is getting a couple of your shirts printed and taking some product photography. You don't want to buy every single shirt that you have listed in your store, but at least showing what other shirts look like, like with you actually taking a picture of your own designs of the product so people can actually see a real picture of what it looks like and not just on a mock-up. So if you're going to be 
a higher price than everyone else, there needs to be a justification for why. And usually that would come from you shining through with that marketing. So that video, you know, showing, you know, again, maybe like a stack of shirts on a shelf or something of what it actually looks like if it's printed, even if it's not the same print that we see here. Another thing is that she's using very specific keywords right here. Your first four keyword slots are the most important real estate for your title. And she's saying Palm Springs Bachelorette shirt. And I like that she has Miami, Palm Springs, all, you know, that she has specific locations, but this could be customized to anything. You were allowed to customize the location, which is a huge selling point. So instead of it being in a specific place here, I would say custom location bachelor shirt. The first thing that they should read is that it's customizable because that is the biggest value proposition of this product. Another big thing that a lot of people can, you can do or split test for yourself is using graphics like this. So you see this one says more color options. In this case, I would put custom location. Add your custom location or something that indicates that this is personalized available. Because the palm trees are not just Palm Springs. It could be Miami, it could be Cabo, it could be Cancun, it could be the Bahamas, it could be anywhere tropical. So she just is limiting herself to the Palm Springs bachelorette shirt where really the first thing I would wanna see is that it's custom and then maybe add a graphic in the image that says personalize your location or something like that. Or split test this a few different ways where it's one badge says personalization available and says personalized location. Some, you know, there's so many different ways to split test this and now all of those specific locations you know throw those into your descriptions your tags have those words exist somewhere in the listing just don't allow it to eat up your prime real estate in your title since those first four slot positions are the most important and just because i checked this shop is really really young i think it would it's pretty important for this person until they get more reviews and more momentum i think they only have 20 reviews on their whole store to come in with more competitive pricing. So picking out the least sold variation option and making that a lower price or even a break even price. So then when you're in the search pages, you see a more competitive price on the front end. In the beginning, this is really important because the hardest part about all of this is earning the click in comparison to your competition. Even though, you know, it's only one variation option, it works. And your competition does it as well. <laughs> Overall guys, those are my Etsy Printify listing critiques. I hope you got some serious value out of this video. If you have stayed until the end, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.